Welcome to the 16th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at the line height property and that basically allows you to add space between your lines and so it makes your text uh, more readable. So let's go ahead and open up our website and and let's open up the style sheet first and let's go ahead down to this third class here for our paragraph 3. We're going to go ahead and get rid of italic and we're going to reduce the pixel size to 15 because it's easier to see how the line height property works with a smaller pixel size. So let's go ahead and save this. And then I want to show you the HTML too. I added some text uh, before the video into the third um, paragraph. So you can go ahead and add some text if you want. I just got this off actually Wikipedia what a fish is. So I wanted a lot of text so it's easier to um, see how the line height property works. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out and let's go ahead and open up the web page and we'll just take a look at this. And so you can see this is kind of tight here. You see how tight that is between the lines? So we want to add some space in between all these lines. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's close this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to type in line hyphen height. As usual, we need a semicolon. Now, you can specify this in pixels, EM, or percentage. And that's what we talked about in the last video, of course, so you should know what those are. We're going to actually scale this, so we'll use the EM. And we're going to go ahead and make that 1.5. And let's go ahead and save this now. And let's go ahead and open up our web page. And you can see we've got more space now. That's a lot more readable than it was without the line height property. Okay, that's basically it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, you guys can go ahead and play around with the percentage if you want or specify it in pixels. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.